Over 100 angry Kingsbridge residents moved into the 50th precinct, just a few blocks from the apartment where Denise Batista was killed early yesterday morning. They claim Denise Batista could have been saved if the police responding to a 9-11 call had properly checked out the call and gone to her apartment. Mm -hmm. I didn't place that call for no reason, and this girl died, and I am absolutely sick about it. Every member of this department is instructed, trained, to respond to the location that is given. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is why the two men are suspended, until we find out why they didn't go up to the 7th floor. I think the real problem is the attitude of the police department of New York to the ordinary citizen. That's what you think. The police do care about the citizens of the And that is why this investigation within the police department is being conducted. As the residents tell it, here's what happened. At least two 9-11 calls went out from this apartment building. It's a domestic thing, but unfortunately, the world believes this could have been averted, or it could have, something could have been done to aid this poor person. All I heard was such pain in this ball. I think I will carry that with me the rest of my life as it's blood curdling pain. As a group of tenants waited inside this hallway for the police, the screen stopped inside of Raul and Denise Batista's apartment. Their eight-month-old baby could be heard crying, but the door was locked. Still, no police arrived up on the seventh floor. Later in the morning, a friend of the Batista found the door of 7A open. I opened the door wide, I turned on the light, and I found her there, dead, full of blood all over her abdomen, and the baby holding onto the sofa bed. Charged with second-degree murder is Denise's husband, Raul. Now, according to Deputy Chief Daniel Sullivan, this is what happened. The police officers arrived at the ground floor. They never went past that point. According to Sullivan, they heard from a sixth-floor tenant that uh, everything was quiet, so they left. An investigation into the inactions of those policemen on that morning continues at this moment. Tony? Okay, Sam, 100 people were terrorized in Brooklyn tonight while they were attending church services. Three armed masked men burst into the Jehovah's Witness oh, precinct in the Bronx. But the people of one Bronx neighborhood do not feel safe dialing 911 and have come to the police station tonight to let the cops know. So we can talk about police procedure. We can talk about response. We can talk about changes for city, but the real issue is whether the people that run the city and whether the people that run the police department care about us. And that's the issue. These are the people of Kingsbridge Heights who are struggling with profound doubt about the quality of their police protection. They're still numb from a staggering tragedy in their neighborhood. 25-year-old Denise Batista bled to death in this apartment after being shot once in the leg early yesterday morning while her child looked on. Repeated calls to the 911 emergency system by neighbors brought one patrol car, but the officers say they left after being told by someone it was a domestic argument. They never went upstairs, and the calls continued. Uh, the 50th Precinct Captain Andrew Dillon is taking a lot of heat for what happened. He suspended the two officers involved without pay. But the people in the area are still not satisfied. The woman who found the body seven hours after the shooting especially wants answers, and the police have none. It is not the usual New York City police department response. Yes, they should have gone up to the seventh floor. Okay. I found the girl. And a good part of that investigation will center around the tape recordings of those emergency calls to 911 and a search for the mysterious tenant the police officers claim sent them away. If the tenant can't be found and the officers don't change their story, then a criminal investigation might very well be needed, Roseanne. But what a crowd. Why on earth is a celebrity like Alan?